What the hell's going on, man? 90.5 up in KSJS San Jose. That was Vasile doing rot off their CD called Object to be Destroyed. Before that, we heard Demolition doing their prolegomenon to Matanza off the Heralds of the Oblivion, Oblivion Volume 1 CD. Isn't that great? Hey, you know what? I've got no homeless report this morning. I don't see any bums stumbling around anyway, I'm telling you. Like three weeks they've gone away, gotten away without getting on the radio. Everybody wants to be on the radio until their world goes to hell. And then they're like, don't talk to me, leave me alone. And they spread out behind the trees somewhere. Three voices, two turntables, and one bad at DJ. That's what you'll find on the Wrecking Crew every Wednesday at 10 p.m. with Dr. Suave, Oz, Omatic, DJ Remedy. You don't think they're the greatest? Well, it doesn't matter what you think. Listen to the Wrecking Crew Wednesdays at 10 p.m. on 90.5 FM KSJS. That almost sounds like the government. What, you don't like what we're doing over here? It doesn't matter. Pay your taxes, man. All right, here, listen to this. Yeah. Yeah. That was Covenant. There's a band, not, not the Covenant you may know. I don't know, maybe? No. Anyway, it's got members from Demu Borgia in it. Nah. Let me see. Well, whatever. That was a song called Prophecies of Fire. The CD is called Animatronic. That's new. Before that, we heard Mythotin doing their song called The Vengeance off the King of the Distant Forest CD. And well, you know, I'm just going to let you listen to this message about dandruff right now because uh, I'm going to be right back. Hi, Becky. I just got my pictures back from my trip to Acapulco. This holiday season, men's, yeah. This holiday season, men, Jose, Shane, Carmel, and Bonnie from Recognition Systems Incorporated urge everyone not to drink and drive. Alcohol-related accidents are the number one killer of young people between the ages of 14 and 24. So to everyone who checks an ID, calls a cab, or tells a customer when to say when, Recognition Systems Incorporated would like to say thanks. By doing things right, you've made a big difference. Yeah. The number one killer of uh, people from 14 to 24. What do you expect? Cancer hasn't gotten a chance to dig in yet. I mean, come on. I just started smoking. They make everything. I'm not talking about these people over at that company. They're great. Thanks a lot. But I just think of a way that everybody likes to throw statistics around. Hey, man, that's number one killer. Big deal. It's not killing that many. I mean, look at old age. Do you know that old age is the number one killer between 90 and 110? Nobody's complaining about that. We could halt that bull crap right there. Euthanasia would cease to be the number one killer. I mean, it would cause old age to be the number one killer of old people from 90 to 110. If we just started cutting them down at 90, we wouldn't have to worry about it. Man, we really cut down on that old age statistic, didn't we? <laughs> now it's euthanasia. Euthanasia is number one killer of people from 85 to 90. Anyway, Merry Christmas. Everyone. You know what? I've got a serious problem. What I meant to say was Merry Christmas, everyone. Don't despair. Yeah. Hey, what the heck, man? That was for Ryan. Called in, wanted to hear some Slayer, and uh, there it is. 
How do you like that? Hey, uh, before that we heard Malediction doing their song called Dissolved and Driven. That's off this some demo tape they sent to Madman here in the studio. And, uh, well, you know what? We heard Sabbath doing Snowblind. And Fear did a Christmas song. Well, some punk, punk rock Christmas CD we got. Isn't that great? Yeah. All right, what the heck? Just sitting there thinking about what I want to do, and I don't know, so it's 641, man. More than 50 children in Marin County are looking for a big brother or big sister. You can make a big difference in the lives. Yeah, they need those people being taken care of down there. Bunch of little brothers. Hey, all you little brothers and little sisters. What the heck, man? Ah. Oh. Sandisk Corporation reminds all women that the best defense against breast cancer begins with frequent self-examinations, an annual medical exam, and a screening mammogram for women over 40. Studies have proven that early detection increases survival and treatment options. So schedule an appointment today at the hospital or clinic of your choice. It may save your life. This reminder is courtesy of SanDisk Corporation on the air because they care about the health and safety of women in our community. Christmas. Christmas is coming! Man, I don't mind. It just seems to me that you've got all these holidays spread out all over the air. What the heck are you supposed to do, man? Just as soon as you think you're set, you gotta start rapping something else, going crazy. Why don't we all just celebrate our birthdays on the same day, huh? Take one day of the year. Everybody gets like two weeks off to get drunk. You know what we should do is take all our holidays and lump them all together so we've got like three months worth of time just off. Everybody should get a summer break, you know? What the heck? Let the crunch country shut down. We could. Mix Halloween, Thanksgiving, those are the obvious choice. I mean, you got little kids running around crazy anyway. Hey, give me something to eat. Well, you know what? This candy's bad for you. We should just start throwing hunks of meat in little kids' bags. They can be eating along like uh, maybe a quart of milk or something. I don't know. Yeah. Independence Day is obvious, you know. You could throw that right in there. You got release all the convicts, man. Open up San Quentin. Just Elmwood. Let everybody go. They could be slaughtering chickens on the lawn or something. You and what the heck? There's Easter. Baste a bunch of turkeys with toxic waste and hide them around the alleys and dumpsters in San Jose, huh? So when a nighttime comes around. You all these homeless people stumbling around and you see something glowing in the corner, they're like, Arr. you see like three or four homeless people fighting over a glowing piece of meat and they're like, Arr. and you know, the best thing about that is they'll probably be dead by the next day and glowing. And the other homeless that didn't get anything the night before, they're used to the idea, oh my God, the meat's glowing, you know, you got to eat it. So they see some homeless guy laying there all glowing, bent up in the corner, and they attack him and start fighting over meat, you know? You don't have to worry about decomposition that way. There you go. I've got all the answers. And so does a Dillinger escape plan. 43% burnt is coming up right now. I mean, hell, that's the way we cook our turkeys back home anyway. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, uh, what the heck, man? That was Creator doing Bomb Threat and the Dillinger Escape Plan. And if you listen real closely, you'll hear the band hymns are right now. Fact is, I'm going to give you some tickets. If you want to go see True to Form Friday the 10th, that's this week. At 9 p.m., they're playing at the Cactus Club, man. Give me a call. Boy. 
90.5 of from KSJS San Jose. 659, get up. Ninety point five FM. That's right. Sitting here trying to get everything to work for you because I know how you love to listen to that rock and roll. And there, it's not cooperating. But you know what? That's my own damn fault. I took the test the other day. I'm competent. You gotta believe me. Yeah. There is no end as far. Yeah. About eight and a half minutes. Of Silence and music and all kinds of weird stuff there. I don't know. Hell, that was, uh... Else today's the day. Doing some song, There Is No End, Man. Yeah, that's off the In the Eyes of God CD. Their latest release. And, uh, everyone needs a good funk in the morning, and Cruz and Michelangelo are ready to give it to you on Morning Funk every Thursday from 6 to 10 a.m. here on 90.5 FM KSJS. Get ready to laugh your ass off and groove to the beats of Latin House and, uh, freestyle. Find out which one will lose the 49er radar playoff radar. Ha <laughs> ha What? Find out which one will lose the 49 Raider playoff bet and have to run the Golden Gate in a G-string. Plus DJ E in the mix at 7 a.m. That's Morning Funk every Thursday from 6 to 10, right here on 90.5 FM KSJS. So if you don't like what we're playing, man, uh, don't call me and tell me that you want to hear freestyle. Just come back Tuesday. Jeez, I'm sick of you people. No, not really. I don't give a damn. Oh, no, I'm not here. Okay. Yeah. We just heard, uh, okay, we heard today's the day. We heard Blood doing their song called The Swamp off Christ Bait. Yeah. Throw them over there in the swamp. I'm willing to bet that's what happened to Jesus, man. Somebody rolled that boulder away ate his flesh and threw the bones in the swamp. There must be some swamp around there. That's where we put them all back in Gaylord, Michigan. We have special cemeteries for people that aren't very well liked. You know, these people just disappear. Nobody cares. They're in the swamp. Yeah, what the hell, man? Christ bait. I figure shoes must be Christ bait. Everybody's thinking hookers because he's hanging out with hookers all the time. But he, as far as we know, he wasn't getting any. He was walking all over the desert. Desert, You know, there are a lot of different types of rocks in the desert. That's what I learned. When I went to the desert, it was nothing but just a bunch of different kinds of rocks. Hell, I dug holes and all kinds of stuff. Some of it you need a pickaxe. Some of it you can use an e-tool. E-tool, the only thing before that it was any good for was burying your waste, you know. You got to bury that stuff. You don't want to surface lay. I was there one time in the Army... We're all out there in the field training. Somebody, yeah, hey, get up! Enemy coming in! All right, you know, we're just in training. We're in Virginia or something like that. I don't know, West Virginia, someplace out in the woods. Everybody get up, doo, 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 doo. running and running. Get down! Everybody jumps down on the ground, and it's just outside camp. And all of a sudden, you're, oh, man! What the hell are you looking? This guy's got toilet paper stuck to him and, like, peanut buttery type stuff smeared all over him. And it's like, see that? That's why you got to bury it. But, uh, yeah, Jesus, I'm sure he needed good shoes, and that's Christ bait, I'm telling you. And you could have, like, Nike could have come out with, with the Jesus shoe back then or something. I suppose they could still do it, all the crazy piercings that are going on. Take a railroad spike, run it through your foot, and you can put these special shoes on. They got those, you know, the little pieces of metal you stick through something and bend down the sides you know whatever you know like the long with a split metal there and you bend it down and yeah it's gonna like a cotter pin or something you know they got those on there put it up through your feet and you just bend down the cotter pins no problem your shoes aren't gonna fall off you don't have to time you don't have to worry about that velcro everybody look at that guy he's got velcro on his shoes ha <laughs> i'm telling you what you put some steel through your foot nobody's gonna make fun of you this is called Huh? All right.
right, that was Exhorter. Yeah. Doing her song, uh, what the heck? Unborn Again. Keith called in, said he wanted to hear some, what? Said he wanted to hear some Exhorter. So we played Unborn Again off the law he wanted to hear. Said he was sitting there thinking about being unborn, I guess. Uh, as much as I've tried, I can only get a certain amount of me back into those women. And I don't know if it's actually called being unborn if it's not your mother. I think that's why they make those laws, you know. Don't be going around trying to get back in there getting any secrets. I suppose the uterus holds all the secrets to, to the undeath, you know. Everything you learn after you die, it's because you're sitting there waiting in an ovum. You know, you're in an ovum, hanging out in the ovaries. Hearing the, the uterus over there thumping and throbbing, and it's giving you messages, you know. You got to know what's going on. So the more you get back in there, the more you learn, I guess. But, uh, I mean, look at Ron Jeremy. He's got, he's got like a master's in theater. He, he, it's either he's got his B.A. in theater and his master's in English or his master, master's in theater and his B.A. in English. Anyway, so he's done what he can to learn everything he needs to know. And apparently he seems pretty happy. My roommate's hung out with him. He says he's a pretty free, freaky guy, man. Uh, I don't know. Everybody hates you when you're a free thinker. This portion of KSGS programming is brought to you by Jack in the Box. Look at it. Key Biosystems reminds us that the holiday season brings great hopes and joy to many. Don't turn these special days into a tragedy by drinking and driving. We'd like to thank our listeners who are doing their part to combat drinking and driving during the holiday season and throughout the new year. By checking IDs, calling a cab, or giving someone a ride home, we can make a difference and save lives. Please don't drink and drive. This message brought to you by PE Biosystems, wishing all listeners a safe and happy holiday season. And you know what? They're thanking all those people who don't drink and drive over the air. I didn't see them thanking anybody who's getting drunk and ramming into walls. But, you know, I suppose that's because they can talk to them themselves when they sideswipe them at about 60 miles an hour. They're hanging out. Oh, drunk, you're getting out of their car. What the hell? Thanks a lot, man. So uh, they're getting that job done for the drunks on their own. But it's hard to reach all the sober people. They don't get out so much. you got to get out. Ah, what the heck, man. Jack of all spades. Ah, what? Yeah, what's up, Judas? Nothing. What are you doing in here? Uh, just grabbing some music, got some work to do. See that? That's what it's all about down here at KSJS. Getting some music, got some work to do. Music's supposed to be fun, man. Well, I'm having fun with what I'm doing. You love your work. I love my work. If I didn't love my work, I wouldn't be here so damn early in the morning. Geez, you know what? This is when they let me out of jail. I gotta be here. If I'm not here but in 15 minutes from the time they let me out of Elmwood, they come get me. Yeah, that's very true. I've seen the sirens. Yeah. yeah I... The sirens, they call to me from afar. I see them on the rocks over by the church steps over there. It's like, what? Yeah. Anyway. You know, it wouldn't do any good to have homeless people with sirens out there. The sailors weren't be so, uh, well, maybe they would go up by the rocks. They'd want to throw rocks at them and stuff. Hey, look, homeless people, let's get them, boys. And they get lured up onto the rocks, and they get the bottom ripped out of their boat. Next thing, they're climbing up on shore, and they beat up all the homeless people, and they have to eat their meat, you know. And uh, next thing you know, they're getting raggedy. And they look like the homeless people, but they're trapped, you know, and then they lure some more people in. It's an ongoing thing. Kind of like the old siren song, huh? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Sounds like, like this. Yeah! yeah! What? Hey, get them, boys! Yeah, anyway, here, listen to this. Hey, uh, that was Cradle Phil doing their song called Hallowed Be Thy Name. Hey, what up, man? 
I've never said that in my life. Hey, man, what up? And it slipped out of me. You see that? It's bad influences everybody's got on me. I'm telling you what, you hang around it long enough, people all around me going, hey, what up, man? What up? What? What? Hey, what up? What? Did I say that? And there it goes. See that? That's the FCC's worried about, man. They're like, hey, these people start listening to these guys on the radio, and next thing you know, they start acting like them. We got degradation of society. It's called, you know, contemporary community standards. Anything I say on the radio would be done by commu contemporary community standards the way I figure it, because everything I say, man, I just say it outside, you know. I say a lot worse things in public, and, you know, I don't get arrested. There's a reason for that. It's called freedom of speech. Yet, if you say it on the radio, suddenly, hey, man, I'm getting some ideas, and people start coming up with ideas, and the FCC's like, no, and the government starts coming down on the FCC. What the hell are you doing? These people are starting to think for themselves. Get the hell out of it. They feel free. You don't want us feeling free because next thing you know, we quit buying homes, you know? Once you quit buying homes, you are free. Spend all your money, build a house. I'm gonna tell you what, it doesn't take much to live. You live in the hole ground. Just dig yourself a good hole. But uh, that damn Hello Be Nine name got me thinking about Jesus, you know? There was a while back, I don't know, a few weeks ago, I was hypothesizing really small hypothesis, but what if you, you know, like genetic memories are gained through meat? Everything we eat, you know, you remember what it did, and then you're, you're sitting there, like if you eat plant life, you're going, oh yeah. You feel, I mean, I guess you smoke plant life and it makes you feel really easy. It must imbibe you with that, with that plant soul, you know? So there you are. Plants don't move around much, they just hang out. I'm sure they think a lot. So you got some science, sort of symbiotic relationship. And I figured out the, the ascension of Christ there, the resurrection thing. What if some homeless guy, because Jesus looked homeless anyway. You look at those pictures of him and compare it to this guy outside on the street corner right now yelling and slapping himself in the back of the head. And uh, they look a lot alike. So there might have been some homeless guy out there really hungry. He's like, oh, man. Nobody's going to check on this for a while. So he goes over there like a day or two after they throw Jesus in that cave because that's all they did, you know. They put him in a cave and they put a rock in front of it, walled it up with a big boulder. Like, just put him in there and let him rot over there. We don't need to be seeing that stuff. And nobody wanted to dig a hole. I mean, you saw him at the crucifixion. What is that movie? Jesus and Nazareth. They're all yelling, yelling at him and telling him, nail him up. And somebody's yelling and Mary's going... What is this? I can't even remember that guy's name that they let go instead of Jesus. Barnabas Brackus or something like that. And she's over there going, you let Jesus go. And someone's going, shut up, slut. They said that on television. I was amazed. You can't talk to Mary like that, man. But uh, so there it is. Nobody wanted to see Jesus when he was dead. They didn't bother burying a hole. They just threw him in a cave. What if some homeless guy comes up? He's like, oh, man, I'm really hungry there. And he's got a stick. And by then, they know that that's the first machine is the lever, the lever, you know. It's the first man-made machine. You know? ah, physics. He gets this big stick, maybe a palm stalk or something, because they had palm trees back then. Where do you think Palm Sunday came from? He's over there levering it out there with a friend of his. They're going to, you know, share the meat. And uh, suddenly they get that thing out of the way, and this guy that looks like Jesus pummels his buddy who was helping on the other side, throws him under the rock, crushes him, goes inside. He looks all right, eats Jesus. Next thing you know, the genetic memories kick in. He starts remembering what it's like to be Jesus. And he's walking around going, hail Jesus. And everybody's going, it's Jesus, he's back. And they, you know, worship the guy. Doesn't matter. Because the human to human ratio is so close with genetics there. You got some guy that has the same memories and he doesn't get confused by him. It's not like when you eat a cow, you're like, ah, what the heck? You start feeling 
closed in, you know, like they do in the barn before they cut their throats. That's that's what cow meat does to you. Eat a person, maybe you'll remember what he, you just feel fine. That guy, that homeless guy, he must have felt great because Jesus didn't do anything. He didn't work. He just roved across the land according to uh, somebody I heard talking about it. They said he was attacking people doing guerrilla warfare, but I don't quote me on that. But I, I don't know. I just wonder what would have happened if a monkey had eaten his meat, man. You know what? All that talking I did at the last stop said I forgot to read some messages. Hey, uh, Fry Daddy, I know you're out there listening. I'm going to be a minute. So you can go ahead and hang up if you want and call me back if you need to talk to me at all. But a friend of mine from Michigan State, man. He's living down in North Carolina right now, listening on the web. You can do it, too. Of course, if you're out in North Carolina and you don't know about it, then you have no idea, do you? So shut the hell up. Hey, uh, over the past 10 years, drinking and driving fatalities have diminished. Yeah! So to everyone who drinks alcohol, Air Foundation would like to thank you for knowing when to say when. For those who serve alcohol, please help your friend or customer by checking an ID or calling a cab. A few thoughtful steps can make it safer for everyone. This message is brought to you by the concerned staff at Air Systems Foundation here in San Jose. On the air, concerned for safety in our community. They also wish everyone a safe holiday season and a happy new year. You know what? Everybody tries to make it sound like drinking and driving is the worst thing in the world. How are we going to solve this problem? You know what? It's easy. If you really care that much, go back to when they first invented alcohol. Who lived like the damn Egyptians back then, you know? They're out there. They didn't have anything to worry about. Get drunk, fall off a damn pyramid, people rolling things over you. What the hell, man? You're drunk. Get away from me. It's a wheel. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hell. They wonder why there's alcohol ruining our society, and it's because of what our society's based upon. I mean, hell. You go back to Discover Magazine, January 1991 issue, and you'll see that they, uh, they found that it wasn't bread that made us sit down and civilize. It was beer. They discovered beer, man. They're wandering around. What the hell, man? What are the, this stuff's getting all over the place. Just put it in that hole over there. Next couple of weeks, they come by, and there's that hole again. You fall in it. Oh, geez, it's sticky, and they lick it, and they get drunk, you know? And they realize, it's alcohol. We're staying here. So they put up their tents, and they started putting rocks and building buildings and, you know, setting up the gardens and everything reason they had to have gardens is because what they learned was that barley is really unstable in its raw state, but it will preserve well in bread. So they started making bread to preserve the barley so they could make their booze, you know? Next thing you know, we got society. We got people going out there to get barley. We got people over there grinding wheat. You know, they got like Conan sitting on that damn wheel pain. That's what he was hooked up for 15 years for, was to make alcohol. I'm sorry, but unless you want to get rid of drinking and driving, you got to get rid of the cars. Getting rid of the alcohol would be a really bad idea. Anyway, uh, well, I can play another message here. Fry Daddy, I hope you hung up, because I've got a lot of stuff to do. But, um, I have some message for... Steve Murphy coming up here. He's that damn jazz guy, you know. What are you going to do? Jazz is the beginning of all of it. You know it's America's indigenous art form. Here, listen to it. You'll see. Yes, JS. Oh, Steve. Ugh. Oh. Well, you know, he's taken... So I got to take care of his chicks. You don't hear him coming out for me, do you? Ah, Judas! They're all piling up at the door. What the heck? He's too honest. I don't like that. Chicks hate me, you know, because next thing you know, I'm like, oh, whatever. They're like, 
What do you mean? What is that supposed to mean? What do you mean, whatever? I, I, what the heck, man? I don't care. Go ahead, do it. See what I... And he's crazy. His voice isn't smooth and silky. What? Hey, man. I'm just being here. Hey, it's, uh, eight o'clock here on a wonderful, lovely, what is it? Tuesday morning. Why wouldn't it be Tuesday morning? Where else would I be? And uh, Fry Daddy's out there. He wanted to hear the song by Testament. Going back to the good old days. That's wrong. 90.5 FM KSJS. San Jose. Man, Jesus, give me some of that with you. Get that horse out of here. But I'm trying to videotape. Brian Stiles, master equestrian, guy back home, Vanderbilt, Michigan, seven miles away from Gaylord, Michigan, so you know it's way out in the boondocks. He uh, had sex with a horse and videotaped it and sent the tape into some porn mag, and they sent it to the police. Next thing you know, the police are knocking on his door arresting him for sodomy so you know what i don't know that just sounded like that kind of music he probably wouldn't have gotten turned in except the quality of the tape was really bad i think it was the chicken working the video camera but uh yeah for the history and samples of music current during the 50s 60s and 70s Tune to 90.5 FM KSJS each and every Friday afternoon from noon till 2 for Friday flashbacks with your host, Dennis Terry. From Elvis to the Beach Boys to Eric Clapton, it's right here on 90.5 FM KSJS. That's Friday flashbacks from noon till 2 with Dennis Terry. What the heck? Everybody down! Dude, them flashbacks and stuff, man. Anyway, what did we just hear? We heard Mind Rot. I had to play that damn song, Cold Skin, off their Soul CD because I just want to let everybody know, you know? You don't have to be dead to have cold st skin. If you just want to feel all, ooh, geez. You want to know what you're like, feel like when you're dead? It's like me. One of my ultimate ambitions is to hold my skull in my hands and just see what it looks like, you know? But it's kind of impossible. Quite improbable, anyway. I mean, how the hell am I going to do that? But, uh, so if you want to know what your skin feels like when you're dead, all clammy and cold, do what I did. Go back to Michigan over Christmas break sometime and just... I, I get these urges to run naked sometime. Don't tell anybody. But, uh... I'll be in, when I'm at Michigan, I'm up late, you know, till like four in the morning, just sitting there reading because there's nothing else to do. And it's the only time you don't have kids going, oh, no, 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 shut the hell up. And you're trying to just, ah, damn kids. I mean, everybody's having them. Why don't you keep them away from me? They're infectious. But, uh, so here I'm in the middle of the night, four o'clock in the morning, and I go running naked in the field sometimes. One time I was home at Christmas, I am. I got that urge. You know, I go open the curtains, fling them open, and you look and the damn moon's up there. It doesn't have to be full, just really bright and shiny. And it's like calling to you. And so there I go outside, you know, and put some boots on. You got to put some boots on. They're taking clothes off in the yard, running across the yard into the field, you know. Woo! I used to have a dog, this Samoyed Husky. It drove me crazy. It'd be sitting there when the moon would get like that. It'd be out there. Woo! And shut up! That was when I was a kid. I didn't realize that it just wanted to go running. And I didn't feel the urge to go running myself yet. I hadn't descended that deep into my insanity, I suppose. But uh, finally I reached that point after the dog was rotted and eaten by maggots. They came, my parents go on vacation. Every time my parents go on vacation, something dies. I guess they should get somebody to feed it. Uh, but they got this dog chained up outside because we're not very good at training animals. All the time growing up, you got these crazy dogs. 
and every time it gets loose, they run away. And you're like, why does it happen? I guess they must not like us. That's why I don't have a dog right now. People are like, why don't you have a dog? I love dogs. And you're going, hey, man, I'm just doing the dog a favor. I don't know how to train things. I don't know how to love things. What do you want me to do? Just have this dog? Then you can't trust the thing. It's sitting there watching you in your sleep. But, uh, so here I am. I'm whip open the curtains. Look out there. The moon's full and bright. Wow. Hey. So I go running out in the yard, across the field. You know, you, you see the shadows. It's just like daylight out there when you get a good moon and it's snow on the ground and just see your shadow you're running through the damn fields and i was out there for like a half hour in the snow walking around by the swamps and stuff and i'm like hey finally i make my way back up to the house i'm ready to go to sleep you know i'm picking up my clothes putting them on in the yard and i walk into the kitchen my mom said, you weren't out there running naked again were you i'm like ah, yeah sorry and i go to bed i'm laying in bed with my blankets i mean while i was out there you know you don't feel anything it's like, here's what I learned. The more clothes you take off, the less you feel cold because it's like, gosh, you know, you put on some thermals, big heavy winter jacket, and you don't have gloves on, what's going to happen? Your hands are going to get cold. It's relative temperature. It's like in the desert. Everybody's like, it's cold at night, and it's like 60 degrees. Man, it's not cold just because it's so damn hot during the day. It's not bad. But so there you are. You got relative dip, you know, temperature. So you just take all your clothes off. You need to keep your boots on. Your feet do get cold if you walk around in the snow. I learned that as a little kid. My brother chasing me around in my underwear, running through the yard, trying to get away from him. Mean people. But, uh, so anyway, go in, lie in bed. You crawl up there under the covers, and you just feel the cold seeping out of you. One, two, three, cuatro. You feel the cold seeping out of you and just flowing around you, man. And your skin is cold. So I played the song Cold Skin by Mind Rock. And uh, let me see. Testament played the ballad for Fry Daddy's out there at work, listening to the radio. Got to practice what you preach. Maddie told Hattie, hey, uh, this is phobia. And, uh, wow, we're going to play this song and then we got to play, go to a commercial break. Come on. Let me show you where it's at. Radio. Yeah. Is it talk radio? No. What the hell? I don't know what it is. It's talk metal, I guess. Play a song every once in a while. Come on, let me show you where it's at. Should turn that down. People are crazy. Hey, so right then we heard, uh, what did we hear? I like it like that. We just heard Phobia doing Parasite off the Destroying the Masses CD. I had to play that because, well, you know, we're not parasites, they are. It's funny how uh, the women will be taking on Cal State, Sacramento, and the men will be playing at Berkeley. And that game can be heard with a broadcast start of 715 right here on KSJS. The Sharks finished in a two-all tie and a three-all tie against the Tampa Bay Lightning and they will be playing against Colorado tomorrow. Last night the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defeated the Vikings 24-17 to and now they are tied with the Detroit Lions for the Central Division lead in the NFC and Ray Carruth indicted yesterday along with three other others for conspiracy to commit first-degree murder and assault with a deadly weapon walked out of the county jail after posting a three million dollar bond and that's sports yeah nothing like jail and sports man they go hand in hand teach that kid to beat up the other kids Woo going out there knocking things down getting all the women next thing you know you're in jail because every once in a while, they get caught by the same laws as we do. I didn't do it. He did it. You did it. And they just passed the buck. I mean, if that's how you know you've got a good government. Is if, if you can successfully avoid getting caught doing something just by going, I didn't do it. He did. And nobody can actually unravel all the twisted knots of 
I don't know. There you go. So, um... You been a messin' where you shouldn't have been a messin'. Hey, you know you like it like that. Nancy Sinatra, folks. Hey, Lucent Technology is aware of the fact that the holiday season can be very stressful. They would also like to remind you that drinking and driving can spoil the time of year we should all enjoy. So play it safe when celebrating or visiting family and friends. Know when to say when. This important community reminder is brought to you by the concerned staff at Lucent Technologies here in San Jose on the air because they care about the people in this community and wish everyone a healthy and happy holiday season. These boots are made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. I love that part. Hey, uh, I'm really just gonna go into some music right now because I can't shut my track trap. This is my favorite part of the song. Hey, you know what? Screw that. That song skipped. Here, listen to this. Yeah. That was six feet under. Mike called in, he's the manager for, uh, what the heck, for Six Killer. And uh, they're playing Thursday night at the Cactus. Doors open at 8. It's going to be really cheap. You can hear some good music, and you can get drunk. You know, that's a start, isn't it? I and mean, what do you do after you get drunk? You pick up some woman that's hanging out there, you go have sex, and next thing you got a family. Get a job, and if you can't get a job or just don't feel like working, hell, all you got to do to get welfare is to get a couple kids. So there you are, you already started. Your life's on its way. So yeah, and you have a good time in the interim. At Six Killer Thursday night, I can't guarantee you're going to have sex, but uh, hey, that's not up to me. I'm not, not going to be doing it. Unless you're a woman, but I don't think there are many women listening to this show. Hey, Don, how you doing? I know Don listens, and so I'll get some sepultura on soon. But, uh, Cannibal Corpse unleashing the bloodthirsty off the bloodthirst CD. Misfits was in there doing Death Comes Ripping off Earth AD. And we heard Bob Rivers and the Twisted Radio thing. I am Santa Claus. <laughs> Hey, uh, if you're listening anywhere on the, on the web there, you can see on the webcam, you can look up and see me. Hey, how you doing? I'm completely oblivious to it. I looked up and somebody had a piece of paper taped over it. I guess they don't want people watching them in here. I mean, hell, if I'm going to be on the radio, you might as well see what I'm doing. I mean, you know what the heck's going on? <laughs> Elbow and my buddy. What? Hey, who? They're like, who's in there with you? People are always, who's in there with you, man? I'm like, what? Who? There's nobody in here. It's just me. It's, yeah, there's nobody in here. It's just us. Anyway. Food Not Bombs is looking for volunteers like me. 1031. This public service announcement was brought to you by KSJS. All those poor, unfortunate people out there, man, you got to get them that food. Speaking of food, I was sitting there the other day, look, after we ordered some pizza, and uh, I look on the, on the damn counter, I'm just eating, hanging out, sitting around, hey, well, hey, wow, you know, that type of thing. And uh, out of the corner of my eye, I glanced the little pizza box. And there, something was covering the whole right side of it, but all I saw was like the right to dare to jam, to jam a hole in your in her mouth. And I'm like, what is that? And I move the stuff away, and it says, dun 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 dun. 
Article 23 from their Pizza Bill of Rights. The right to dare your granny to jam a whole slice in her mouth at once. And I realized why that caught my attention. Because if you move these just two words around, it goes from the right to dare your granny to jam a whole slice in her mouth at once to the right to dare your slice to jam a whole granny in her mouth at once. And I was like, wow, man. Because if you look at a world publishing company, they produced a dictionary in 1943. That's the one I've got. And it lists the word granny as a stupid or dull person of either sex. I was like, hey, he's got the right to dare us. Or what do you call it? Dare your slice, which can be construed as your girlfriend to jam a whole stupid or dull person of either sex into her mouth at once. I think they're really working on her, just play a word for sex. I don't believe that that dictionary could get away with printing that as a definition for granny. I mean, hey, hey, granny, give me another beer. And it's like, hey, you, I, it's a good thing that stopped. I almost cussed. Anyway, pizza, man. I mean, it's here. You know the best part of pizza is the the inside, the crust. Everybody's like, yeah, I'll eat it. You know, I'm hungry. Think about it. You're eating seven or eight slices of pizza. You can afford to save the crusts. Just throw them in there with, the, you know, where your recycle bin is. Everybody's separating their cans and bottles and their papers and all those things. Hey, and the homeless are always going through the can bin. They don't take anything else. They're always going through the can bin. So just take and throw all your pizza crust in the can bin. And uh, when they're going looking for that stuff, they'll be like, oh, hey, what a find, you know? And they won't realize that they're being contributed to charitably. They will think that they're finding it on their own. They'll feel like good beings, you know? I'm finding my own food sources. Ah, well, I'm really moving up in the world. Data Fellows Incorporated reminds us that due to short supplies at blood banks throughout the Bay Area, transfusions are not always available, delaying needed operations and sometimes endangering lives. If you've donated blood in the past or considered becoming a donor, please don't keep putting it off. Let's work together to combat short blood supplies. Remember the greatest gift you can give is the gift of life. This community reminder is brought to you by Data Fellows here in San Jose. I'm here because they care about the health of the Bay Area. Yeah. I don't know, man. And speaking of burying people and the government being a damn parasite, it just seems a little bit funny to me that even when we die, they tax us. There's a burial tariff. Do you know that? They charge you. And, oh, this works in with a recycling thing, too. It all works out, man. It's not like you die and they throw you in a ditch and you contribute to the good of the world by decomposing. Look! Detritus! People kick it around and put their cigarettes out in it. But, uh, you know, it's like, as people, we take and we fill us full of formaldehyde, you know, and... Oh, that's really too bad. I was looking forward to hearing what the hell he was gonna say. And sometimes it comes back out on the other side, but right now I doubt it. Dug a hole. I don't think there's anything on this side. Worth a try. Whoever knows. I'm gonna be around. You don't have to worry about that. 